So now I gotta buy SR22 insurance from your dad. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, my, my dad sells insurance in Iowa, and then, you know, he goes to the Y to play basketball, like, every day, because he played basketball for Iowa State, like, way back in the 60s and stuff. So he'll go, like, in the afternoon to the YMCA, try to get a pickup game. But there, there's never anybody there to play, so he gets into pickup games with the little retarded kids that are there that night, but he gets so ultra-competitive, like, come on, Ralph, box out, goddammit! Get your finger out of your nose and your head in the game! I'll smack you upside that bicycle helmet if you don't start playing some defense. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a kid over there going crazy playing defense. I'm like, Dad, look at him play defense. Way to go there, Joe. I'm like, Dad, I think he's having a seizure. <laughs> well, don't stop him. <laughs> that little rubber-headed Julius Caesar doesn't bite his fucking tongue off. We get a defensive stop. Get to it. <laughs> I remember going home to Fairbank, Iowa once because I, I grew up next to Amish kids. And I'm out the schoolyard, Fairbank Elementary, and old schoolyard out there. And he sees Amish guys out there playing pickup ball. I'm like, I might go get in a pickup game with these Amish guys. But these, these Amish guys were good, man. They had like the full Amish garb on, not taking the hat off and shit, beards down to here, looking like ZZ Top starter kits and shit, you know. And they're all, and the guys like talking trash to me, like, all right, come on, heathen, bring it, bring it, heathen. You ain't got no game. This is Sir Hamish's backyard. That's right. Yeah, you ain't got no game. You suck. You suck like your mother. She gives great bonnet, don't you know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if this guy had like Air Hamish's on or something, but I got down low on him. I got to give him a little head fake and shit, try to get old Hamish up, you know, on my head fake. He wasn't going for that for shit, man. He gets up there, you know, his air Hamish is pumped up. He gets up there and just blocks my shot against the, the chain link fence. Get the we cost heathen shit out the hill, yeah. This is Sir Hamish's backyard. That's right, raise the barn. All right, yeah, raise the barn. I hated playing basketball in junior high because I went to a school that didn't have any money. They didn't have a uniform to fit me. I was like six foot three and 200 pounds when I was in seventh grade and they didn't have a uniform that fit me. So the like, the little shorts that go up my ass looked like I was working at fucking Hooters. <laughs> It was so humiliating. I'd go up and I'd, I'd, I'd try to post up and have to pull my shorts down all the time. You know, I'd post up. It looked, it looked like I was posting up and working a pole at an airline highway strip club. <laughs> and no money. You know, man, people took, uh, took videos of the games. They'd have to go home and put sensor bars over my big white Norwegian ass. Didn't have any money because the uh, school secretary embezzled the money. So we had no money. So the school secretary embezzled it all. So we didn't have any money, you know? We had a map in the social studies room. It didn't have fucking Israel on it. It had Persia still on it. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Why is there only one Germany? Oh, don't worry. They'll get back together. <laughs> God, didn't have a uniform that fit me. No map and this freaking cunt stealing money. I'm sorry. If you could think of another way, another apropos description of a woman who steals money from 12-year-olds and then goes to Europe on a trip, if you could think of another description besides cunt, by all means, I'm open for suggestions. <laughs> but she steals money and she goes to Europe and she comes back, oh, I went all these wonderful places in Europe. I'm like, where'd you go? Oh, oh, wait, we won't, we won't know where the hell you went because we got a map that's pre-World War I. <laughs> you bitch, who the hell is Archduke Ferdinand anyway? <laughs> I remember when I was in junior high, the uh, science teacher got in trouble for uh, having relations. He got caught with an eighth grader, a girl. Oh. Yeah, that's actually right. Well, technically it was summer, so she was in ninth grade, but... <laughs> <laughs> but here's the problem. I, I don't understand. What is the big deal about fucking a young girl? I've never gotten it. Now that I'm older, I just don't see the attraction into young girls at all. You girls don't know what the hell they're doing. I like an older girl, man, and older women. They know what the hell they want. Like you young girls, you know what the hell's going on. It's like, oh my God, it tickles. Don't touch me there. Oh my God, that's weird. Oh my God, I don't like that. That's weird. Oh my God, it's like prom night. Stop that, stop that. Your mom, on the other hand, I know what she wants. She's like, all right, yeah, that's right. Why don't you do me here, do me there. Don't touch that, don't mess with that. Get done in one hour, because I have to pick the kids from soccer. So get to it, stud boys. Like, yeah. Woo! Let's flip on the REO Speedwagon and have a little prom reunion. That's right, Mama. <laughs> I 
My nephew's eight years old, and he told me, he's like, Uncle Donald, when I get older, I want a Corvette and a Cougar. I'm like, don't we all? 